Where's your ashtray? You That's fuck? what I'm asking about. There's Bro. only one on this table. Come on, you have man. it in your bag. Where's your ashtray? Where's your fucking ashtray? <laughs> this fucking guy, man. Where's your fucking ashtray? This guy's a bitch. gas lighter. That's all he is. He got a light. Oh, here we go. Where's you your want lighter? a fucking Where? dick, too? <laughs> <laughs> you, want a, you want manliness, too? You fuck? You want to pay your bills, you little bitch? <laughs> Look at this guy, man. <laughs> Tired of this garbage. Zero to 100. Tired That's of what it takes. You gotta light this guy's ass up. You've been you've been lighting me up all night, man. Bro, I started lighting up your back and boom. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, don't lie. I got I got like old man hands. You know old man strength? No man. Give old him man, a massage. Old man strength. Fuck yeah, dude. He had a nut on his back, and I put a nut on his back. Old man strength was like jujitsu this morning, man. This fucking guy, man. I fucking hate him. Why? He's good. He's just Is he he's heavy. Good? He's no, he's not that good. It's just it's goon strength, man. He's he's that the uh, the trades guy told you. Electrician for like 30 years. What is he weighing? 250. Two fi plus. Why are you? But yo, who told you? Who gave you permission to start rolling with a guy that big? No, we were just rotating. And I, I got told. Like, professor's like, yo, okay. Yeah, but you should be like, yo, professor. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> professor X, chill. It's so like, it's so demoralizing whenever I roll with this guy. His name's Marcel. He's cool. He's an awesome dude. But it's just like, fuck, man. <laughs> passes my guard like right away cross faces the me problem is, i'm is like, like dude fuck today i actually did better than against him than i ever have i actually managed to like escape more and i tried to i almost got him in a in an arm bar but jesus christ man it's just so hard yeah but dude the problem is is this hector you're if you're at like single digits body body fat and you're 200 pounds that's a different story than when or even if you're 15%. no this, this guy's this guy's thick Okay, but what I'm saying is you're also thick. No, I he's think, he's thicker. Like he's got no, a proper belly on. I get on him. it, but I think if you had abs, right, you would have a better idea of what you actually weigh and who you should actually roll with, right? You're you probably weigh no, like one seventy five. I, I know what makes sense to roll with. No, it's maybe probably a bit more than that. Seventy five is pretty light. That's like, <laughs> mm, be like high school. Trend. No, bro. <laughs> what do you what do you hold on? Do you have abs? No. Okay. You would never know until you have abs. Sure. So. But I don't think I think 175 would be just a bit, a bit too low. But close. People lose a lot more weight than you think to get lean. Like I, a lot of these guys, like uh, you know, more plates, more dates. Yeah. At his peak, he was 199. And he's humongous. Yeah, but he's he's like white boy dense though. And he's six foot. He's got big legs. Everything. How, how big is his dick? I don't know. Next time I swing on it, I'll let you know. Yeah, you do that. I appreciate it. Dr. Evil, what's going on, dog? Is it recording now? Yeah, that was just our intro. Yeah. You just you oh. just ruined it, by the way. Is it recording now? Is it recording? That's why I started with the, the, the doctor. Dr. Evil. I know, that's why I asked. Dr. Evil's one of those yeah. uh, guys in our age group that has the... You some, okay? He's got, he's got some <laughs> dad tendencies. No, I just want to see... I, I, I wanted to go with the, with the route, but then oh, I was okay, like, okay. not really. It's not really true. I got you. I was going to be like, he's technologically retarded, but not really true. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. No, it's an overstatement. What's going on, man? <coughs> huh. I don't know. Not a whole lot. Same stuff. Just uh, mostly work. You, have you ever taken time off and just walked around Boston? No. I've barely been to Boston. Actually, I haven't. I literally haven't been to Boston in like a month or two. Yeah, I was gonna say you only. I remember you. You mentioned you went once with like. Was it work or was it other? Like at one point you went out. I think uh, right. It was something. Yeah, that's when. Uh, mm. Yeah, when, I got you. When never mind. Uh, never mind. When, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Enough said. CIA. CIA up here. And CIA. But that was back in like May oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, yeah so I don't it's know, been a couple I, months. I don't know when that thing happened. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, Dr. Evil, let's get right into it, you fuck. Mm. Pull up Which one do uh, you want to start with? Pull up Telegram. Which one do you want to start with? The first well, one? Well, let's let's read him off to me and then and then we'll we'll go about it. All right. I need like music here just like This one up on the list is Brittany Griner. Just got sentenced to 9 years plus was like a million rubles, I think. I didn't take a look at the number. Million. 15 million, which is what? It's like 15 grand, something it's, like it's that. Not, it's grand not US. the money. It's, it's not the not money. money. It's, yeah, it's a sentence. It's, it's 9 it's years is nine insane. Years. Make make it a million dollars in like one day. And that that would make more it's sense. Basically bail. <laughs> Dr. Evil, you go ahead first cuz you always fucking bitch out and go last. What do you think? Just about the case? Yeah. I don't know. I, I found it interesting that they're trying to leverage this for a trade with the 
that the weapons dealer. I and, think uh, that's some drug dealer apparently. I think that's basically what this is. Is all that this is, and they didn't get their way, and they just like, okay, fuck it. She's getting nine years then, and she'll just be stuck in here until you guys can renegotiate, and then we can do an exchange. That's a realistic uh, conclusion, I think. Because I they're corrupt as fuck, of course. Well, there was also I sent it to you. I don't know if I sent it to to uh, Doctor Evil here. Did you hear about Doctor Evil? There was another case, very very similar case that happened last year with uh, another American woman who came in, and she got caught with fifteen grams because Brittany Griner was oil yeah. from like a, a, a vape grams. pen, yeah. a vape pen, right? CBD oil? Yeah, uh, no, it was like THC, but it was like concentrated, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, nothing though, really. Yeah, not quantity's not much, concentration's high, but whatever. Um, mm-hmm. This other similar case that happened was an American tourist that came in with 15 grams of supposed medical, you know, medical marijuana. Um, obviously, mm-hmm. that shit didn't fly. They're like, we don't care if it's for, you know, to save your mother or if it's for you to have fun with your friends. It doesn't matter to us. It's It's the same. So she got let off pretty lightly with what was it like 15 days or some shit it was like two weeks and like a hundred bucks yeah something like that it was it was weak all oh, right i mean makes sense so the precedent though, right? was like way less than what they gave her yeah here. so uh, my initial thought was that they were just trying to make a statement with griner because she's got more notoriety like she's a professional ball player this and that she's she'll be in the news more than some random american tourist but then this thing came up with the exchange with, um, I don't know what the guy's name is, but yeah, with the arms like deal or whatever. I think that's probably the more... His name is uh, Victor Boot or Bout. Bout? Yeah, talk to him, Dr. Evil. Talk to him. B-O-U-T. Yep. You guys are... <laughs> but here's the funny thing. They arrested that guy in like, I don't know, it was some Southeast Asian country. It wasn't in the U.S. But they... So it's kind they, of... Did they extradite him? Yeah. Well, not really. They basically kidnapped him. Wait, the Americans did? Yeah, man. The <laughs> Americans got like worldwide jurisdiction. Damn. That's a <laughs> little bit concerning too. I yeah, guess. but that's kind of... Let see. Don't, let's kidnap. not lie. I feel like that's, that has to be an extradition. The way they just kidnap him. Like, what the fuck? You're trying to like fucking just black hooded him and then just shift him off to like... <laughs> that's Quan- a new Quantico? <laughs> it's a new level of gangster. That is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Political gangsterness is like so cutthroat. It's top top notch. Is there is there anything better than just blowing up a village and be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Any more power than being able to bomb a country and then no one's Anything better than that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's nothing. Like, what's more powerful? In terms than of power. That? In terms of power, yeah. I think like, other than. He like, was arrested. Uh, God. It says he was arrested in Thailand on terrorism charges by the Royal Thai Police in cooperation with American authorities in Interpol. Thais are a bunch okay, of so that's, fucking rats, though. So, huh? well, hold on a second. So the Americans were involved from the beginning. So, yeah, this isn't someone. It's not a kid. I really. suspect they, like, coordinated yeah. the whole thing. No, 100%. But I'm, it's not like. Uh, he was arrested for some unrelated thing in another country, and then the Americans caught wind of it and decided to fly over and like take him out. No, this was like they Plan. were looking. For, yeah, they were looking for him for a while, and then they eventually. No, this was a. Uh, they arranged a false transaction with him in Thailand because they knew that he wouldn't go to the U.S. Yeah, no, no. But the was, entire transaction was bullshit. But what I'm was, saying like, is like th- this was this was well planned and thought of in advance from the Americans for a long time. This was not just like a random like, oh shit, he got caught, let's go sweep him. This was like, we want to get this guy, no, it was what's like, the best uh, way to do it? Yeah, yeah, no. him. Well, You guys are arguing about nothing right now. Yeah, this, I'm, like, we're, <laughs> I'm trying to explain what it is. It's like the same thing here. What I'm saying is the Americans were behind it from the day, from day one. So like, of course, like this isn't no, like... A, but there's a difference between them doing surveillance and and like intercepting him versus actually just arranging a false buy to begin with where it was all a sham. They do that kind of shit all the time. That That's just a sting. That's just a sting operation. That's yeah, all that's that is. exactly. That's the word for it. But it's that's, you know in Thailand. This is yeah, like some movie like, stuff. Yeah, sure. But like that's that's not that. What do you think movie stuff comes from? I was gonna say, I'm like to me, that's well, not they that, literally made a movie about this. So that's not that far from the out. Real shit. No, well, no, the original, like what he did before, like his his exploits, Lord oh. of War. Have you ever heard of it? No, my point is this: is that the fir- the original thing happens, and they make like a better movie version. Or no, what like uh, the movie is made of his life story essentially before him getting caught. Like what he, he like a documentary. He's an arms dealer. You know that, right? Like, okay. a, like a high, high level, arm, like the arms dealer, right? And so Lord of War is based on his life and what he did. This, honestly, is almost like just another page in his book. But the book on him is crazy. Who he used to deal crazy. with, he's sell to, all this stuff. I think these guys are gone for life. 
Yo, would you would you uh, would you ever consider being an arms dealer, with Doctor Evil? If you could, like, go back in time. <laughs> Would you think about it? <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Go back in time. If you, if you had was it in. Was it too late? No, if, if you had it in. What, was I going to be an arms dealer like five years ago when it was the, no, the right what, time? No, what I'm saying is like, you know, you don't have an in. Nobody does, really. Like, who do we know who has an in in that? <laughs> like, no, I don't know anybody. That... Dude, this will be, that'd be like fucking war dogs, man. They didn't have an in. They just made their way in. Yeah, but that's like. No, it, it had to do with the, these guys were part of a military that collapsed with the Soviet Union, and now they just had all this stuff lying around, and they had access to selling it. It was a time and place thing. That's yeah, it. that was yeah, a time and place thing. But it's not like someone tapped them on the shoulder, like, "Hey, kid." All wanna, of that's like you want to yeah, start all like the oligarchs. All of that was time and place. You can't reproduce any of that. Yeah, but it wasn't like some guy some guy tapped them on the shoulder, like, "Hey, kid, you want to start selling?" You know what's warheads? interesting? Warheads. It, there's a lot of time and place things, even smaller than this. Of course. Like A and B. That guy, you can't replicate Every, that Everything business. is time yeah. and place, basically. So crazy. That's such a small business. It's like not replicable. Yeah, of course. Fucking retarded. Of course. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal, man. I think this is like some uh, hostage situation type being, shit that they're taking being advantage of. Not. No, no, I'm talking he's, about the he's br- going back to Grindr. Griner. You're just like her getting nine years yeah. old and stuff. This is just like a hostage situation. It's like dude. the Huawei thing, you know? Yeah, very, very, like, very similar. Yeah. Taking yeah. political prisoners. Wrong place, wrong time almost, really, for her. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. No, yeah. All right. Yeah. Could could have been hurt. Literally could have been. I mean, that was still stupid to do that. But no, obviously, yeah, of this course is way it's stupid. But yeah, I, but I could see this. It's it's this what she brought in is tiny. Like you could easily forget about yeah. this. Yeah, but that's some hood rat shit too. At the same time, you know what I mean? It's like irresponsible hood rat shit. I've done that by accident. I brought one of these over from L.A. Uh, Oh, I, I'm po- okay. Hold on, I got to strive to cover a doctor. I wouldn't take that to it. China or Russia. No, no, I, I agree. Thailand. But it's it's the idea of like. When you fly into Canada, you can't bring anything with you. It doesn't matter that it's legal in Canada. You can't be when transiting. When did she go over. there, actually? Uh, months ago. It was... Uh, Eight months ago? Before months ago. Uh, Ukraine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. We it was. That. It got overshadowed because of Ukraine. But it was... I remember hearing about it. It was within, It was within like a fair time span of, of Ukraine. Yeah. I think it was like within a month and a half, two months Something of Ukraine. Like yeah, so it's, it's been a few months. But yeah, that's that's she that's competed crazy. since 2014. What the fuck? She's been in Russia playing basketball. Yeah. 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 I thought she was in the NBA. She was also W WNBA. No, NBA. It's, but that's in the US, right? Yeah, it's seasonal it though. You know that, right? Like all these things are seasonal. Sorry. That's why, oh yeah. That's yeah. why like they, uh, okay, NBA basketball they guys. It. Yeah, 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 they exactly. Can, they can yeah. play like uh, USA ball. Yeah. Like uh, Dwight Howard playing. In- China? Well, sort of, because like sort of. the NBA, the actual NBA pays so much, you'd never need to do anything else in your off season. You're set. Like if you're, and they were on strike, or whatever. If you're, out. if you're a, if you're a good player, if you're starting for the team, you don't need any other job. But the WNBA pays peanuts, so in the off season, they're gonna be looking for something else, somewhere else to go and play and do and like whatever. Yeah. So it's it's just a bit she of a different, like Wiz different situation. Here's Wiz Khalifa. The the one thing that's like really, actually, it's the one the message that I sent to you, Armand, is that post where they're basically claiming like racism on this. I'm like, this nothing to no. do. This is literally like some you're, you're getting held, yeah. you're getting leveraged. Yeah, this is an opportunistic moment for them. It is, and it's just yeah, it's just wrong place, wrong time. If it wasn't her, if it was another, if it was a teammate in the same situation, like that was on the, the plane or whatever, would have been them. Could have been you, Hector. Could have been me, buddy, with up. my CBD pen. I would have gave you tips yeah. over the phone. I legit that then that's when I left mine in my carry on when I came from LA to when I flew in here. I totally forgot about it. No one saw anything, and so whatever, it's all good. But if they would have looked in my bag, they're like, "Yo, what's this?" And I'm like, "Well, oh, fuck." I'll tell you guys a story quickly. Or right, what you got? Uh, somebody I know, somebody some somebody pretty close to me brought uh, <laughs> brought over like a hundred amps and put it in a shoe, and, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna put aluminum around it." Why the fuck? Hundred amps? <laughs> what do you mean ampules? Ampules of testosterone from your <laughs> mm. Over, because uh, well, it's farm farm grade, right? So, it's, like the money that yeah, you right, pay yeah. for it there, it's like fifty cents an app. You can sell it for like twenty bucks here, right? Crazy. Um, but yeah, he brought like a hundred in his <laughs> shoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and and this guy, he's one of those guys. He's so stupid, right? That he just gets that stupid luck. Oh I, yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying. He just he does like shit without really considering things, but he just gets away with them. Right time, right place. What's the next topic, Hector? Canadian researchers find a new way to treat strokes with breakthrough study. 
it's intravenous still though. Everything's intravenous. So you can't really do it yourself. You can do intravenous to yourself. I don't know. You, that means you have to like get it into a vein. That's kind of. I I can do it to, uh -huh. into a vein. I feel like it's not that easy. I think there's going to be a lot of people uh, have a fear of injecting themselves. But I, think, I think a few people. I mean, like if you're having a stroke, it's a lot easier to take a pill than it is to, Absolutely. you know, self-administer oh, yeah. an intravenous injection. For sure, but if you're if you're if you're somebody who's worried about having strokes, you're already a small part of the population. So I think it's if you want to live. Well, wow, that you gotta, still might be like millions of people. Sure, but that's I mean it's irrelevant, right? Don't get to that point or die, or <laughs> or relevant. or or Don't do get this to that point or do this, right? Like you, you okay? There's guys that want to be 35 years old and in peak condition of their life, and they, they don't have the right testosterone level, so you take tests. But there are side effects, right? Everything's like this. That is the peak condition of their life. Ah, uh, not some guys. Some what? guys. Oh, want man. To go. You're saying peak condition of their life if they have better testosterone. Still nothing. Just to give it like a few minutes, to like. Um. Sorry. Repeat that again, uh, Doctor Evil. It it is peak of the condition of their life. There's a difference between peak condition of your life with and without hormone uh, supplementation. Yeah, but some some guys they let it go. Uh, is my is my <laughs> thing that I'm trying to say is that they let it go it's so they're so no much. longer in their in their peak, man. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy's in his peak at 22 and he just lets it go, and by the time he's 30, 35, he's out of his peak. Now, if he trains and stuff, sure. But like, I'm I'm saying, there's a lot of guys that don't train. They don't. No, but like, Christ, dude, the whole peak thing. That's what it's all about. I was like, we're back on this one again. The peak is important. <laughs> I know. Man. How did it come back to this already? The peak is important. All right, are we back? Are we back or what? It's no. this like short-lived uh, moment of super high maintenance and, and super high vanity. Yo, I watched that Meyer Lansky movie, Hector. You know the one that. I think you brought up a while ago. Uh, refresh with uh, Harvey Keitel. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's uh pretty bad, but like for anybody that's interested in that stuff, you'd still end up watching it. Harvey Keitel, hold on. which one? <laughs> Dr. Evil, are you uh, rock climbing over there? Not at all. You should get on that. <laughs> Climb the wall in like a year. Get on that, man. Or since December. There's something nice about being young and being ha having the ability to do these things. Damn, dude. Yo, Dr. Evil. 83. This one, uh, no good? He's 83, no, man. No, I know. I mean, like, the, the movie is no good? Yeah, no. It was, well, the scenes with him are interesting because... It's you know it's charisma, but everything else in the storyline is pretty shitty. Maybe you're pretty. It just shitty. looks like a budget film too. Hector, is it on? What to find out? No, oh, did you turn it on? No, no, I left it off okay. so I could like charge a bit of juice. Okay. <laughs> Guess how old his wife is? How old? Forty. Forty. Oh, yeah. actually, she's pretty old. No, 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 she's sixty-one. Uh, why, he's 83. Why did he get so like? That that excited? doesn't hold on, hold on. That doctor. She, she looked good. That no, oh, she, she looked good for her age, and okay. then I saw oh, she's actually 61. That's not that. I thought she was like though. 45. Oof, you're yeah, you're right. Even that's not crazy. Even 45 is not that crazy. I've seen worse, man. 45 and 80. It's not Dude, crazy, but it's it's that's a gap, bro. Okay, you know Aura. Do I know Aura? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's remember, the photo I, remember, I was looking at. I remember going in there. Mm. And seeing a guy who was like, swear to God, a good 70. With a girl who's a 20, just down her mouth, just fucking grabbing titties and shit. And I was like, yo! What the fuck, dude? Who did a grandpa swap, man? Fuck. Fucking hell. It was, it was yeah, concerning. Yeah, that's too much. She looks pretty young there, actually. Ah, uh, she looks hella young there, bro. Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if he's 85 there. Well, no. No, no. No, he's, uh, this is there. 2010, I think. Oh, so okay. he's what? He's 75. like 71 there. Yeah, yeah. 75. No, he's, he's 85. He'd be 75. 12 years. Or 71. Ago. Not 10. Now he's so 83. Set... Oh, okay. 83. I heard 85. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't worry about the math, bro. Okay. 
What are you fact checking us, you no, motherfucker? Man. That's what I do. That's what I do here. I'm but so even here, no, but even here, she's like forty nine. That's she's a good forty nine. Pretty good forty nine. That, that pick is. Uh... You, you could have told me she was thirty nine. I'd be like, yeah. It's just the angle, probably. Uh, Hector, give us a quick summary for the people. Okay, so there has been a new treatment plan. We'll call it. Uh, for people suffering from strokes or potentially, I guess, at risk for strokes. So the article goes, Canadian researchers find new way to treat strokes with a breakthrough study. So there's been some research from Toronto and Calgary who have found that there's a drug that they use to treat heart attacks that may also work for the most common type of stroke, which I think was transexemic or acute eczemic stroke. Um, yeah. Dr. Evil, you looked at this briefly. Is there anything here that sticks out to you at all? Um, no, not really. Except the dose, the dosage is still intravenous. So how does that... That's up? what I mentioned earlier. It would just be nice if it was a pill. And then you could carry it in your pocket. And if you have a stroke, just pop it. Is this more Especially like... Especially if you're alone. A diabetes thing? Like like those kind of... Like that's oh, all... You gotta hit it. You gotta, you gotta get a vein. Oh shit! Oh vein, right? Because a uh, diabetes intramuscular, yeah. right? Uh, diabetes intramuscular. Oh shit! Yeah, it's subcutaneous. Yeah. Just like pop it anywhere in your it's body and those, inject. Uh, but this is like insulin imagine agents. if you're having a stroke and now you have to get it into your. <laughs> I think. Well, this is pretty. Your, is it still early stages? Hold on, hold on, guys. I have a quick fix for this. Okay, guys like this that have what? to hit inter. Uh, intravenous. Intravenous. They have primary lines that's already attached that are. Bang. No man, walk you, around with that shit. What do you mean, walk around with that shit? It's a little fucking line that comes there, and it, it's just there. I've seen this. Well, hold on. The uh, sure, but like most people aren't gonna be like that. They're just potentially at the risk of stroke, and maybe even like in a first aid kit, you could have this. Is it that? Just grab that quickly. Is yeah, it that quick access? Like, sorry, a quick release. I thought this was like a probably not, but treat- the sooner you take it, the better. I imagine. I thought this was like a preventative treatment thing, or is this like treatment no, no, for this is, before this the stroke? Is like allergy meds. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, I don't know. No, this is like is when it I read it, it was it was very like it's not precautionary. Because if it's like, not preventative, yeah, in- intravenous is honestly kind of ridiculous. No, no, but it's not ridiculous. I it told is. you guys, there's there's. Uh, cap- I understand, there's- man, but imagine like you got an epipen and it has to be intravenous now, bro. The whole point of the epipen is no, you no, fucking but you don't have to have get an in there. Pen. You could have an IV that's in your house, or you can have a small patch of IV that is portable, <laughs> and you just pop it in. No, but the idea is that it's when you're popping it in, when, you got to get it into when, the vein. When you're being, you already have a fucking catheter. You're being too calm about this. Vein. The idea is that <laughs> when when you're in this situation. <laughs> The idea, of the, yeah, dude. the reason why you're gonna the epi- be all slurring and shit. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, bro? You're gonna be lagging out. <laughs> dude, have you ever <laughs> seen you someone have a stroke? This, like... They're like fucked, bro. Listen to me, guys. You think they're just precise, gonna like uh... crawl to their to their fucking bed like in Wolf of Wall Street? And he goes like, Ugh. There's he's on the coil. You think you're gonna are... be able to hold anything in your hand? <laughs> no, Seriously, you got bro. one side. You know, that's gonna be fine, catheter. Listen, but you're right. I don't know if this is treating emergencies. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't think it's emergency treatment, bro. <laughs> this is would be terrible. Bro. Fucking this is emergency like, treatment. This would be the fucking worst, bro. It's fumbling, the best. fumbling with a needle and then trying do to do better, play. man. I feel like it is because it says oh it's faster God. to administer to stroke patients. <laughs> exactly. God. But there's a stroke a... patient is someone who had a stroke, so I yeah, think it is. had. It's afterwards. I know that, but what I'm saying is, is you could administer yourself. So bad, dude. Like you said, man, your dexterity's gone. My dexterity. Then, if your heart gives out, you can give yourself uh, CPR too. <laughs> it's like, bro, it's like your arm, but ten times worse. No, this arm is pretty bad, bro. Have you seen someone on a stroke? <laughs> yeah, but you still have your other hand, dude. I've seen those stroke commercials. Because <laughs> 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 they're sitting in the kitchen, and the one guy just half his face melts off <laughs> bro it's fucking <laughs> awful there We're was going a to hell, Hector. there was a guy at my like my there was a church i used to go to in vancouver with my parents when i was a kid and there was a guy who had a bad reaction from a stroke years ago literally yeah. his half i've never that was the first time i've ever seen somebody after like this half his body literally dragging like his his whole arm looked like it was yeah. dead like yeah. actually dead, and you see weird Did he joint recover? movements. No, that that yeah. was that was his. He, he had a bad recovery from a stroke, and as long as I went to church there, which was years, 
he this poor uh, you know poor old man was like this. That was just his life. So I wonder if you if that guy wanted to kill himself. He can no go man, to Sweden. I don't think so. Can he? Can he just <laughs> Dude. go to Sweden? And just Catholics don't believe in that shit, bro. This guy's hardcore Catholic. No way. Oh, okay. Well, Give what up. I'm saying is, like, if you're not Catholic. Well, then yeah, probably, man. If you're not Catholic, just do a lot more things, man. Just do, do, a, do a quick plane ticket. Hector, would you come with me if I had a stroke? And I was like, yo. I'll press a button, bro. <laughs> <laughs> button I'll get right. you that intravenous. No, you're, you're trying to get out your last thoughts. You're like, yo, bro, I just want to. And then I just, I just go and press the button. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I got a better scenario. You're like, okay, Armand, so finally, any last thoughts? <laughs> The, the best <laughs> last thoughts. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> right before I can do anything, he just puts his hand on my mouth, just fucking, cho- fucking chokes me, and presses the button, and I just die. Just fucking just trying to scream oh something. Oh, my God. And he turns to you guys. He's like, that's how you want it to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we talked about this in the podcast, episode yeah. 338. Check it out. Bro, 338. By the time we're that age, bro, it's going to be like 16,000 something. <laughs> fucking hell. Yo, I'm looking at the criminal charges for that Russian uh, weapons merchant. Yeah. yeah. Pretty bad. How bad? It's like conspiracy to kill U.S. nationals, oh, conspiracy to God. kill U.S. Anything, officers, well, any, any time it's employees, any time it's conspiracy, conspiracy to acquire bro, any, export any missile those... system designed to destroy <laughs> aircraft. He's going straight to Guantanamo. Yo, yo, this guy's going to get butt fucked with a fucking Actually, cock meat sandwich. Probably uh, ADX Florence, most likely. So or, that, that oh, this, it's funny. It's like the perfect... Uh, so it's the same number that the basketball player had to pay a fifteen thousand dollar fine when you convert the ruples. Yes. Um. He he had to forfeit fifteen million. <laughs> Just added a few more zeros. Yeah, and twenty five years prison. And he served his time. No, he's well. He's no. Not serving yet. I don't think. No, he's, he's like fifty five, man. He's not that old. Got, he just got sentenced. I think. I don't even think he's in jail yet. So you're gonna make a Lord of War part two. <laughs> What's, what's it, what's it going to be? Just him in behind bars. He's going to come out at 80. He's going to be that guy at Aura. Or there's, or there's a swap. Or there's a swap that happens. You guys are all spring chickens compared to Biden, and Biden became president. So. Like if, there's, if there's enough public outcry, may, actually, probably not even that. But if there's a political incentive to do so, maybe there's a swap. Who knows? All right, next, uh, next topic. Next ones are not out of left field, but they're more funky. Uh, we got two that are kind of related. One is an ancient sea beast that lived in freshwater, and it's not the Loch Ness monster. It's this huge carnivorous so reptile. Kind of, yeah. Uh, it's you ever seen those? I think they're called plesiosaurs. Or yeah, plesiosaurs. Yeah, it's like that basically. But those were generally considered to be ocean dwelling creatures, right? Like not freshwater. Anytime you think of the biggest animals in existence, even currently. The idea is that they're ocean, all in the ocean, water. exactly. Yeah. And so, with this case, there was a potentially an example of that found in like a freshwater environment, which is kind of fucked up to think about, but also cool from a biology perspective. I think it's uh, underestimated how much fresh water there was back then. That that's the other thing too is like it gives probably gives them more insight into what maybe reconsider some of their. Uh... Was there more or less? More, like more, more fresh water more back fresh water more than back. they considered there was more fresh water back then yeah because to be able to for, for, there more fresh well water? google's not going to tell you because these guys are probably going to if they if they revise then they'll have to revise and then google will tell you something else google updates based on their revision <laughs> basically Fuck, come on, well man. it's it's the idea They're that the source for i guess their their theory for most for land animals and just or animals in general like in sizing is they need more food and more space to, to get bigger that's just so there's a reason why the ocean is generally also i mean the blue whale is the biggest animal in existence yeah uh but if you get a huge animal you know in in a freshwater environment you're not going to have it in some tiny ass pond it has to be no. in a big body of water so you know i mean lake superior is fucking huge first of all like yeah, that's that's fresh water bigger though but that's exactly so. It's like if you had imagine you had more of those, yeah, right around, then that could potentially house an animal this size, kind of thing, and then it would revise what the previous theory of like how much there was around. And I would imagine back then, because the Earth was younger, environment like the ecosystem was more, I guess, toxic. So it was like there was more growth and more volcano eruptions, more earthquakes, you know, more more <coughs> common, more frequent. 
says science uh, or the earth has lost a quarter of its water uh, although water covers 70% of the earth's surface water is actually rare so blah 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 nevertheless escape to space a new study indicates hydrogen from split water molecules has escaped into space that sounds like bullshit you heard it here folks does it escape it's bullshit. into space bullshit Bullshit. Nothing escapes Bullshit. into space. The only thing that escapes into space are my hopes and dreams. It's heat. Hundo. <laughs> it's just heat is the only thing, I think. Penis. Two. Hey, uh, Dr. Evil, have you ever heard of reverse entropy? I mean, no, but I guess I can surmise what you mean. No, it's not real. It's just kidding. My, my parents were uh, watching Tenet tonight, and so I remember you, remember you, you and I watched it way back when it came out. But the one they're explaining. Yeah, I couldn't the, hear shit. What the fuck? What did you do? Remember the movie? We couldn't really hear any of the dialogue. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the the yeah, it's they, it's subtitled now, which is nice. <laughs> I thought you meant you couldn't hear like me because Armand's like fiddling with some knobs. No, no. Um, the movie. Yeah, I, I, there the was movie. they were watching the part where the girl explains how like the the inverted system works, all yeah. that shit, and she's like, "Oh yeah, it's reverse yeah. reverse entropy." <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. I'm reverse entropy. All right. Well, that's fucking... I, I, this is the thing. A lot of things wouldn't matter if there was some big-ass dinosaurs. You know what I mean? If there's some big-ass dinosaurs walking around, a lot of shit wouldn't matter. What would... Okay, you know, we, we've asked the question of what would you do in X situations? Like, you know, if, if I give you $20 and you have to, like, make yeah. it away your cost, kind of blah, blah. Yeah. If I gave you five items from our current timeline uh -huh. to bring with you to a dinosaur kind of timeline. Anything? Anything. Okay, I'll give you some stipulations here. It okay. can be anything. Yeah. When I mean five, literally five. So it can't be like, oh, I want I want bullets. So you're going to get five. No. It's like if you bring a bullet, you bring one bullet. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it can be anything. Literally Sorry, anything. Totally anything. Five things. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just one bullet, one gun. Just fucking change yourself. And I had to post you up. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I had two items, bro. You, you had a cheat code. Um, and then I had to post you up in this kind of like yeah. environment that we just talked about, these little dinosaurs, or whatever. And you Not could, little, bro. They're fucking humongous. Yeah, I'm trying to make you feel, yeah. trying to make one, you feel better, one bro. One bullet, one gun. Yeah. <laughs> two junior chickens. Fucking... Uh, five items, what would you bring? Dr. Evil, you go first. No, man, you got to go first. No, no, no you got to think about this. Yeah, Dr. Evil, well, you know he's not creative Wait, on the you spot. You just like that. airdrop someone in the rainforest with all these dinosaurs around? Yeah, well, we'll do like some time traveling made up shit. This is like a, just a, a scenario, right? Obviously, okay. Like. Uh, well, you know what? Dr. Evil, even better because he, he knows his reference. We'll do it Hitman style where you can uh, you, you can pick the items and then you can <laughs> pick where they're dropped. Guns. No, yeah, no, but what I'm saying is like the idea yeah, of like pass me that joint. You, you can find out where they're... i higher for this. Okay. Oh, it's going to be bad. You can find out where they are. But you're like, oh, if you want them like under a tree somewhere, then it can be there. Like it doesn't matter. But five, only five items. Who, who's gonna go first? No, I, I'm asking the question. Someone else got. I'm gonna answer my own. And you're question. alone. Yeah, you're like a yeah, survival. Yeah, 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 you're survival. I can, and there's dinosaurs around. Yeah. Oh man, even if there weren't dinosaurs around, I wouldn't know what to bring. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gotta start with it's that. Like, bring a phone. <laughs> what the and, fuck's uh, the phone gonna do for phone? you? What's the phone gonna do for you there? There's no technology that Try right and there. call civilization. <laughs> Try to call the future. <laughs> there's no. There's like no society you can. Run no, to. no. I'm saying I'm taking you back to that time. You, you have five things oh, that dude, you can bring one with bullet, you. One bullet, one gun. Yeah. Two chickens <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shoot yourself, man, at this point. <laughs> Some, like, cookies and cream. <laughs> yeah. The last supper, I man. Mean, what bottle, are you going to do? Yeah, bottle probably of, would. <laughs> bottle of whiskey, chocolate bar. And then... So are you, at this point, are you going to get at least one blunt? You can get whatever the fuck. I said, man, anything Dr. in the Evil. world. No, I'm asking Dr. Evil. Oh. Are you going to get a blunt, or are you you going to just stay sober? What are you going to do? Probably get the, the Xanax. That's a good one. I do Get heroin. Out. I do heroin, a line of blow, and just blow my head off. Those are your three items. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, if I'm trying to go and I'm trying to go out with a bang, that's but what that's, I would that's do. not the point. Is it? Can you? <clears throat> no, I would try to survive. I'll get. Right, I'll get a items. bunker. Bunker. Okay. All right. That's a good one. I get a bunker. Well, you could get a whole bunker. Yeah, you yeah, get a whole dude. bunker. 
But here's the thing, because like with only five items, sure, he's got a bunker. What the fuck else does he have? Nothing. Yeah. There's no power, because there's no fucking power in that time. Yeah, but you there's have no like nothing. a whole shelter there or something. Yeah, but what is that? What are you going to do? So just starve? Like <laughs> what? So yeah, what do you got? Are you gonna have like a what I'm saying is that power plant. I, I did say one item, but like just that doesn't mean that it's like a guarantee that it's gonna work, right? So yeah, so bunker, that's a good one. What else? Bunker. Uh, he just thought taught me a good one, like a, a infusion nuclear plant where I can uh, nuclear generator. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a good can, one. No, so no, that's good. Shoot sure. off fucking. Wait, what? Yeah, I could shoot some shit off, man. Power plant. No, I thought it was just like a generator for power. What do you mean? Yeah, it also has a little gun. <laughs> okay, that no. Let's be like no th things that exist today, motherfucker. Not future things. I'm talking okay. about present it's time. Playing Fallout Three. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about present time items that you can nuclear take. nuclear plant. But I can't. How can I use that nuclear plant in a in a weapon? No, but you can't. You don't need a weapon, man. You just need energy. Why do you need a weapon? Why is everything weapons, bro? How are you going to eat? Yeah. Well, this is not a fucking nuclear rail gun. Like, what How the are you fuck, eat? bro? Okay, fine. Make it simpler. Uh, you got inside, power inside. and bunker. That's okay. two. That's two. Okay. Uh, Some type of vegetation inside. And a inside greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Inside. You have you one grow greenhouse. Your dollar tree. So I have, uh, <laughs> I have, uh, I have, I'm powering that greenhouse with the nuclear weapon. Yes. Yeah. Or the nuclear plant. Nuclear plant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, what are you going to eat right away? Because it's going to take a while to grow food. Uh, a gun. Okay, you got one gun. And you can probably, uh, the it best gun, gun, whatever. The best gun. The best gun. Right? Yeah. And uh, I need a utensil. A knife. Oh my god, what a waste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you start off super You're strong. Well there. You start off then... super strong. Your, your first two were like bang on, probably the best ones I, I could have thought of. And then the last three were just like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Fuck. What was the last three? The greenhouse was actually decent, but like the gun... What the fuck are you doing with a gun, bro? Unless you can make your own bullets, that's a terrible item to bring. Because I said you only get oh, five yeah, items. Yeah. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me go back on okay. that. Cause okay, that's, green, I didn't, I didn't end off on the greenhouse. That. So, yeah, that's your thing. I actually didn't even hear that. Um, So, no gun. I still have one more. No, no, you have two more. Fuck the knife, man. That's a dumb. Come on, be be better than this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a knife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to I'm trying to be able to cut some shit. How am I gonna Dude, cut it up? Come on, man. Think think bigger think more creative you're all like the, like i said the first two even three were like pretty solid you can fashion your own weapons when you're there you know that right like a fucking stone man you you got knowledge Metal man. shop yeah you got you, you got knowledge man you use that yeah shit. but those aren't gonna be that like what kind of material you gotta go hunting this is the bro problem. you know it's people like, used to hunt woolly mammoths i understand with that. fucking spear weapons sure. like stone spears but that's a different time than like dinosaurs right no it's not yeah it's it still the same woolly mammoth was the was the the back end of dinosaurs. Bro, you think that all dinosaurs are fucking T-Rexes? You're going to find no, no, some that are like, easier to kill. T-Rex time was before, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there were three. Yeah, yeah. We're talking yeah. about these pleosaurs. Okay. You, That's wanna, what I'm saying. Want to be fucking specific, yeah, motherfucker? Fucking specific. All right, give me 10 seconds. They, they don't call me safety officer Armonic Bushloo for no reason. To be fair, you, yeah, you did. You, you're, you're allowed to ask questions and clarify. Pleosaur uh, era. So, Dr. Evil, you're going to just put a bullet in your ass or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably, yeah. Are you going to answer? Okay, fine. Uh, they were uh, the Pleosaurs were Triassic, late Triassic. So they were they were so, the tail end of this. Yeah. Actually, they're actually closer to the woolly mammoths than you think. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I would have more more time then because there would there wasn't as many, right? There was less dinosaurs. Uh, I think Triassic was yeah. It wasn't the most prolific era. Yeah, I think the first first one was the most. I think uh, actually there, wait no there, Tri there Triassic was, was the first one actually isn't Cretaceous the last one? I don't know. Taking me back to grade three. Grade three, bro? No way. And you know what? Jurassic is actually the last one. Well, got, yeah. had it right the first time. See? Cretaceous came first, and then he had the right. Jurassic. Yeah. So, anyway, so yeah, you're near the tail end of this shit. Yeah. So there's not as many. So I would, I would, I, I would, I would get like a, a masonry shop or something. Okay. Nice. Solid. Okay. Comes so, with all so, the included so, items. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> so that kind of shit, and then I got one more, right? Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your four. So. Uh. <clears throat> Hold on, uh, Arma. No bitches. No, what the man. fuck, man? No, dude. no bitches? No, what am I going to This is my boy Arm on here. He's not going to no. bring bitches? No, man. I, I'm going to live a life as a philosopher. And I'm going to write on the walls. And they're going to discover my art <laughs> millions of years later. That's going to be me, son. 
<laughs> so they can be like, there are signs of an early primitive, <laughs> primitive human species. <laughs> More they're gonna, they're gonna wonder. Related. They're gonna wonder how I built like a, a pyramid and shit. They're gonna be like, yo, <laughs> looks like it was uh, some kind of Homo erectus Neanderthal <laughs> <laughs> living here. Oh man. shit, dude. Um, so what's your fifth? What do you got? Because I actually got a follow up to this. That actually makes it even more interesting. It, it would honestly have to be in the, a chick, honestly. If I want, if I want to like live, right? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I this mean, like guy. you could be the you could be the pioneer, man. You could be the first one that uh, intermingles with uh... <laughs> <laughs> the monkeys. Maybe, and uh, shit. yeah, maybe you. Uh... Let me hold out yeah, the better, an- the better oh. answer, the funnier answer would have been like, yo, who needs bitches? I got these Neanderthals and <laughs> shit. All these hoes around. The thing is that like the Triassic era is so unfathomably before even the first signs of mammals were around that it just doesn't make sense. There'd be no way. Wait, if mammoths were then. Yeah, the, the, the be- mammoths were not that close. It's not, not as close as I thought. Because the, the ma- mammoth era was around the human era. Yeah. The Triassic mammals, era. Right? The, yeah. What was the first mammal? First mammal was about a hundred thousand years ago. Well, no more than hundred million. First, no, no. First, maybe. Hold on. Oh, it was more than a hundred thousand. No, no, no. He's saying you no. Know, uh, Armand's question, Doctor Evil, was when was the first mammal like born? Like how long ago? More than a hundred thousand, bro. Hundred thousand. A hundred million, maybe. Australopithecus is like a hundred thousand. Yo, battery exhausted bro, again, it's tired, bro. bro. Just it's okay. Damn, son. This whole time, this battery's got them exhausted. <laughs> Bring your cardio up, son. <laughs> Hector, what's going on here? Did you forget to plug in a battery, you motherfucker? I did, I did. You have eight I, batteries. No, no, I, th- I have three. And I lost one. I don't know where that one is. Yeah, I knew <laughs> I shouldn't have sold it to you. Should have kept them here. Those batteries, did they... Okay, pick- this is... Cra- yeah, so they're actually... This is interesting. The Yeah, the first known like millions, discovered mammals... Right? was on the very, very tail end of the dinosaur era. So basically, yeah, near the end of the Triassic era, they lived like 210 million years ago. There you go. Damn. They're called... <laughs> what the fuck? Morgan... Morgan Eucondoids. Morgan Eucondoids, Something bro. like that. Hit me up with that morg, son. I don't know. The fifth one would probably be um, a chick. A chick? It would have to be. If I want to like procreate, but uh, given, can I, uh, can I like grow or hold on with those masonry? Uh, yeah, I, you got a masonry build? shop. You got a okay. masonry shop. Can I, can I like cut down trees and like make like paper? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, paper. How would you make paper? No, 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 not paper per se, but like a fucking block that I could write on. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? No, I'm saying like, yeah, for that, sure you that, would. That's yeah. Possible, of course. Right? Just think about it. Like the items that you brought. So you got the masonry, so you can make yourself some tools and whatever you chop, can make chop down the tree. And then you have your your current twenty whatever your Iranian years are knowledge bring with you there. So if you know how to do that, you can do it there. So thirty seven year old Armand, <laughs> <laughs> son, I feel like late thirties. Yeah, so you feel like you're in your late thirties. Yeah, I feel like I'm in my late thirties. Last two years, I felt like this. I feel like I'm old, bro. Because the lifestyle is, like, old. You know what I mean? You kind of just, it's like... Responsibilities. And- a lot of responsibilities. You're paying taxes. You're doing, like, regular people shit. You're not, like... You're not doing any, like, you know, <laughs> suspect stuff. You're you're kind of keeping clear of this stuff. You know? That kind of stuff. Or more so. You're, you're trying to stay more so. And if you are doing suspect stuff, it's, like, low-key suspect stuff. It's not, like, you know, any, anything you're going to do time for or anything like that. So, that is fucking boring as fuck man sometimes i just wake up doing this life and just have a have like lower back pain <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i remember you telling me this like a while back you're like yo i gotta do like consistent shit every day and it makes it super boring is it you talking me or dr, no, evil? dr. evil oh yeah what i yeah. said that yeah you're like something along, along the lines of like life is like so. Uh, you're still here. Yeah, you, you you haven't gone to Boston yet, but you were like, uh, life is like pretty, pretty boring. It's like the same thing every day. Yeah, I don't know when that was, but probably <laughs> it hasn't been like that for a while though. 
that's, uh, that's, that's actually good. good. That's, that's good. actually like really good. That's good. Happy for you. A lot of people don't have that, especially if you're doing like some corporate shit, bro. When you like move somewhere else, things feel pretty different. Yeah, that's true. They feel new too. Anything, man. It feels like it's been two years. It's only been like five months. For you? Yeah. Damn. Do you feel like it's been two years? I feel like it's been a while, yeah. Hector, what does it feel like to you? Not that long. Half yeah. a year. <laughs> yeah. Even less for me. It hasn't dragged. Usually, like, I mean, usually things actually go faster than usual, I found for me. I'm like, oh, shit, that was six months? It felt like How three. long ha has it been since I injured my arm? Dr. Evil, you go ahead. How long you oh, that's a month and a half. Month and a half? You go ahead. Yeah, beginning of July. I want to say, or end of June. Okay, it's been 10 weeks. It's two and a half months. Really? Since that video? Yeah. <laughs> Early June. Wait, because that was when Homeboy... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. June. Beginning of June, early June, because that, that was when Brian was here. Because he saw it. He saw you. Yeah. So saw that, you with that, that just shows how, the, how fast this. time goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> time goes by fast, man. I, went, I wasn't off by much. I was off by like two weeks. I do said you, end of June. Do you guys have any uh, any goals to like get out of uh, a 9 to 5? I mean... I, this sounds like an infomercial, but I'm, I'm saying this sincerely. <laughs> like, do you, do you Yo, see that's like... Remember when I told you I met with, uh, what was that guy's name from Swim Club, Hector? Eugene? Brian? Eugene. Or Brian. Brian. Eugene, might have been, yeah. might have been Brian. When they, sold, when they tried to sell me on like the multi-level marketing thing. Did, did they both meet you or was it just the younger or the older one? No, it was, oh, fuck, I don't remember if it was the younger or the older one now. Okay, fatter, I think it was fatter or skinnier? No, the skinnier one, yeah. Then that's Brian. And that's the older one. That's Brian? Yeah, and that's the older one. Remember, okay, yeah, it was the older one. I remember, mixed up their names. Yeah, because Eugene. It was, was him and another dude, but the other guy wasn't from the club. He was some oh, yeah. stranger. Yeah, because Eugene, Eugene. But they they were talking like that, and then this is kind of weird, man. Also, who the hell is this guy? I thought it was just us having lunch. I remember you mentioning this to me years ago when it happened. You were like, "Yo, I just met." Yeah, him I was like pretty pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I, <laughs> I drove out all the way here for this. Yeah, yeah, that was fucking garbage. You were still in school at the time, I think. Yeah, but the same thing happens. Yo, pass me that weed pen. No, I don't want to get. It. Are you talking about multi-level marketing or something else? No, no, no. no. But just like the idea know, of being disappointed the, by people you met. Yeah, they come up with some business proposal that's like shit, and you're like, uh -oh. dude, uh, you're fucking retarded. Oh, that, I thought you meant. I thought you meant senior Perez. Perez. Perez uh, no, senior Perez came up. With, told me some shit, some dumb shit one time. He's like, you'll invest ten grand for me, and we'll go, and, and you'll get like three percent in like a year. I'm like, bro, three percent, like fuck. Fuck this, dude. Like, I don't, I don't want to do three percent. Like, sure. it's fucking retarded. I don't know. Like that, that kind of shit. I think you should only do business with like family, or like somebody that you. Uh, a lot of people like business. advise against that. Yeah. Yeah, the complete opposite. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't think you, uh, you can get along. Cause in my family, like I, the only reason. But I, that's I'm just like general this, wisdom, right? You don't mix that stuff. No, the, the only reason I'm saying this is because in my family, like my word counts more than like if, for example if, if i was in business with my sister in a cafe my word would count last like it, it'd be or first i would say it'd be like the last word you know what i mean it's it, she'll if she said some suggestion and i'm like no we're not then we're not doing it you know what i mean so what does that, that have to do with the, sounds like a good deal for her <laughs> no, no no but it's the relationship dynamics is what i'm saying but so it might not be like that with everybody where like they're they're really in control that's why they say that yeah that, well, that's the whole point if it's like but I would be in control. If you want to have a say in the business, why the fuck would you be your sister there? Uh, trustworthiness, it's its our money together. But you have the final say? I have final say. I so have then, control. what the fuck? <laughs> huh? Where is it? What's in it for her? Not doing a 9 to 5. And I'm making way more money. <laughs> I mean, sure. No, 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 but have you... Uh, Take a look at like, some of these cafe revenues, like Starbucks or Tim Hortons. Or Dude, those places probably got massacred during COVID. Yeah, fair. No, they're actually doing pretty well. I mean, look at Starbucks. Starbucks is like the biggest one, and they closed a lot of places. <sighs> yeah, but Starbucks at least is actually like not for most of the. Bro. It's like five pandemic. dollars a fucking. That's affordable, economy. bro. If you're from Kits. Yeah, shut up. Bro. Right I know. You're I know. Right I know Moody. for a long ass time that you got Starbucks like every day. Not every day. What do you mean? What? Yeah. No. 
Yeah. You're trying to like, like, well, you know, <laughs> trying to call my bluff. Like, no, man, you don't. First of all, you don't. How often know. did you get Starbucks when you were working your last job? Uh, like once a week. Once a week? That's it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was my bluff that was called. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Shit. It'd be like if I forgot to to prep stuff in the morning, I'd go. So if it's like, oh shit, or like I'm really tired, I want a coffee kind of thing. But it was not like a regular because we have we haven't really have a nice ma- coffee machine at work. That's why, never needed it. How do we get to the subject? Yo, you're high as fuck. You said fuck. something about nine to fives. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You're okay. pitching us. Um, no, 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 not my. I'm pitch. kidding. You made a joke about that. Yeah, that it's not a pitch. <laughs> all these, uh, all these. Uh... The the problem is is like <laughs> it's so saturated with people being like oh yeah get on this pyramid scheme no it's it's what yeah. I'm saying is like an actual business idea you know what I mean like I, I know a lot of dumb guys that, that you're just saying in general yeah like do we yeah. would we want to get yeah. into something you, like yeah have you ever thought yeah, about yeah, like yeah. starting something up and doing something like that instead of I mean Doctor Evil kind of already in a certain way yeah look at me dude I'm like the happiest guy you know <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny like when he, when he brought up the arms and thing you're like oh if we hadn't and I remember thinking to myself I didn't ask it out loud but I was like you know what probably similar stress levels Dr. Evil comparable no way different Wait, if we had a what no if you were if you just cause you know what you're doing right now versus like being yeah. an arms dealer you'd be like you know oh honestly, dude this is definitely taking years <laughs> off my life <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm like why not just 100%, 100%. take on similar amounts of stress but get way more money out of it it's not similar though eh you don't know how he'd react to it I know he none of you guys would react to it you well, don't nobody, know shit either what? what's last time you way? brokered a nuclear arms deal no 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 <laughs> I know fucker. that but what I'm saying is I don't think anybody there's no blueprint for dealing with that kind of stress Oh, yeah, for the, selling. Yeah, but I don't. What I'm doing is not illegal. I'm not worried about that. There's a that. huge aspect of illegality that you're not fucking. Yeah. Paying attention to actor. That shit's super stressful. But in a way, I was never to that in point a w- in my life, and I was fucking stressed. In a way, mind. yes. In a way, yes. And I'll, uh, maybe it's the weed thing, but hear me out. And if it's bullshit, just say it's bullshit at the end. The legality part, yes. Like on paper, <laughs> obviously fine. But the stress that comes from that of like looking over your shoulder. Being worried that you can get shut down, Doctor Evil. Is this sounding familiar? You know, not knowing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You know what I mean? So like, it doesn't matter what it comes from. Is the stress that you feel the same? Yes or no? I actually think it would be similar for Doctor Evil. There's another aspect of police that he's not dealing with. No, but the the stress is the same because in this case, if you're dealing arms, yeah, they're illegal. Who are you dealing with? You're dealing with your customers and you're dealing with the people that are going to shut you down, which is who? The police. Okay, so that's stress from them. And yeah, because obviously they'll shut you down, you'll go to jail, all these things that you could lose, money, okay. whatever. He gets similar feelings from what he's doing right now. I think at a very small scale, yeah. I think he would disagree with you on the small scale. I, I would have to like... Uh, because he, because he, he's... your perspective, it's going to adapt right away. So you know, if I did all this illegal stuff to start with, and then I moved into this business, this business wouldn't seem as stressful. But because I never was involved in being a fucking weapons dealer, what I am involved in now, it does seem pretty stressful. That's what it I'm seems saying. high stakes. Yeah. Even though I don't have my freedom on the line, I don't have to worry about like <laughs> being arrested and losing my reputation. Remember, you remember we, <clears throat> we were talking about uh, how to sentence that person, that guy who, who stabbed uh, the thieves in a store? Oh, yeah, but we, we didn't have that conversation with Armand. No, no but I was thinking, like, continue. it's not even about the prison time. Like, it's it's more that now you, you know, have a criminal record and that's going to be yeah, associated course. with you course, forever. Yeah. I'd rather, like, you know, if you gave me the option of, like, would you rather do no prison time and, and have this removed entirely from your history? Or would you rather have the criminal record and not go to prison? And people look up your name, and the first thing they see is this video of right, you right, basically right. killing not someone. Go to prison, not have. A I'd probably record. rather. I'd probably rather go to prison. Mm-hmm. Depends on the prison. And have you. like no blemish. <laughs> no, but for you, Doctor Evil, it depends on the prison. Some prisons. Yeah, a Canadian like prison it. where I don't have to worry about like, having to join Canadian, a gang yeah, yeah, to save for my sure. life. Canadian for sure. prison, for sure, for, for sure. sure. American no prison, state prisons, bro. You're gonna be a girlfriend for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be a, you're gonna be somebody's wife for a little bit. You know Jesus. what I mean? You might get past it on the hood a little bit. Are we gonna turn this camera on, or are we just freaking? Oh, yeah, I got you. We just giving up. No, we never give up. Let's do uh, Doctor Evil. How you feeling? How's your energy levels? Let's do one more topic. What do you think? Uh, sorry. Sure. Yeah. What's the next one? That's it on the. 
the other one was very similar to the first. It's just a bunch 39, of thirty nine, yeah, thirty nine, seventy nine sea creatures just got discovered. Deep sea creatures. Deep sea. Deep. Deep. The deep. But yeah, I, I definitely want to like get away from this. This isn't really a long term. It, like it'll literally kill me. <laughs> I can't do this I forever. Mean, yeah, you've you've been saying that for ten years, but also but yes, you there's, should. There's you know. Well, it's it's changed dramatically in the last two years. I think it's got to end. Has point. the feeling changed though? I mean, yeah, maybe it's more stressful now. I don't know. It has. It, but, recently, it's been really like uh, I mean, the last week or so was an anomaly. But I would say in the past year, yeah, things are better. That's well, that's compared good. to 2019, for example. Well, you, yeah, you've had some other peaks in the past as well. I think 2016 was a tough, or 2015, I forget. There, there was like one early, early year where it was like, yeah, man. It's like, I used to do way more you know, enjoyable it. stuff in addition to this, whereas now it's kind of consumed me. Sounds like a drug addiction. And I addiction. really just only work, especially <laughs> being here. Yeah, but you're also getting older, so you're just focusing on like mastering certain things. Plus your 9 to 5 is taking a lot away from you. Time wise, yeah, it is actually. Uh, I forgot actually. I've never actually asked you that question, Doctor Evil. Five months. If you were to remove nine to five priorities, like you just didn't have to deal, you didn't have to do it. Because even before when you were here, you still had, you still had them right, and where you were going. Yeah. Uh, if you removed all that, how manageable or scalable would this other thing be right now? Let's let's go around the table with that. Because I think we, we he can sure. say his sure, piece, sure, and sure, then we'll sure, sure, sure. switch up. If I didn't, yeah, if I didn't work at all in the lab stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was still living back home? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd spend way more time on, uh, you know, like before I'd go swimming and we'd play squash once in a while. Sure. And I'd, I would do social stuff. I would probably just do those things, spend more time reading. Mm. All, all that shit, that, like the good habits that I used to have and that, yeah, you yeah. know, we would talk about right. once and pretty often, actually. That's, yeah. But what I mean is, would you keep up this thing that you're doing right now? Would you keep it up and like even put more time into it or whatever? Like, would you dedicate? Uh, that's that is my question. Uh, there's, there's kind of a cap on that too. It's not right. So like, it, is it scalable? You get sick of it as well. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's kind of was the point of my question. Is if I if we remove that nine to five obligation from you entirely, would you just leave the amount of current effort that you put into this thing right now, or would you put in more, or would it just kind uh, yeah, of? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'll be putting it. For now, at least, things might change. But for now, I wouldn't put that much more effort. I wouldn't just, like, replace everything from yes. the lab. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, but the thing is, I also have people helping now, and I didn't have that before. Right. Actually, that's like, true. Remember those crazy nights where yes. I would literally work 24 hours straight? Yeah. Like, and I'd drive home at 10 in the morning the next day? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All that was insane. And then you just fucked up for the rest, rest of the week. Right. So I, I don't do any of that anymore. And I, I wouldn't. Even if I came back, I, I wouldn't do that again. Well, that's good. I think that's good anyways. Yeah, so it sounds like you have a more balanced life. Um, also, too, like a better handle on it in yeah. general. If, if, a healthier if, if handle. If things, if things were to change, right? So if, yeah. if your situation were to change somehow, you know, you're not, you're yeah, not yeah, five changes life. or something, or you decide to move somewhere cool. or whatever, you, yeah, it seems like you got a better handle on it in general. Hector, what about you? Uh, re Phrase the question for me. Uh, if you didn't have a nine to five, how would it affect your life right now? Uh, it'd be fucking great, stress free. All right, what would you I be can, doing instead? Uh, Can't give us some borderline bullshit like that, you know? No, it's, <laughs> it's not bullshit. It's it's like <laughs> no stress. Sleep would be better. I could do whatever activities that I want essentially. So, uh, the hobbies that I have, physical and non-physical, um, working on projects. Anything specific that would drastically change? drastically change not in a way uh, i mean you, you guys both know <laughs> oh my god I my brother feels the same. like the, my brother's been unemployed for like 10 months now yeah, it's like <laughs> no he's afraid to go back no so yeah i'm not yeah because my, my first day is in like fucking two days i'm not afraid it's gonna be kind of cool but it's been it's exciting no stress for so long and i was i was talking about this with someone i was like i thought that when i got unemployed i'd be stressing no, not stressing, but I'd be like depressed because I'd be like bored. Who the fuck knows, right? Like I wouldn't find activities or things to do with myself, and I'd be like, oh my god, not yeah. the case. Hasn't been the case at all. That's how I feel about it right now. If I try to envision it, yeah, it, that wasn't the case at all. I basically just put more time into like learning things, mm. and this is not like mm. like a like a formal setting. We're talking yeah. like watch more interesting YouTube videos for longer. So like learning about you know 
how this technology is coming up or Mechanics, whatever. Some, whatever some general yeah, yeah some general like uh, Skill, research in that sense yeah knowledge um and then a lot of time has been spent yeah like helping out at home with nice. uh, like projects that we have with like, the cars and stuff and uh, family time yeah a lot more family time which has been awesome Sweet. especially with like with my dad because he works from home so we can kind of spend however much time we that's precious shit man yeah so it's it's actually been yeah. it's, it's actually been really like in hindsight it's been really really fucking great it's a blessing oh 100 percent, man yeah. in so many ways and i remember it took me a couple of weeks to realize what happened like the changes that happened in my head mm. like i used to feel you know you know what this is you, you feel stress yeah or your body feels it and it took me a couple of weeks to realize that it wasn't there anymore mm. it wasn't an immediate thing like i i didn't notice the switch mm. i just noticed at one point that there'd been an absence of it for a, for a period of time and i'm like right. wait yeah wait shit it's not there you think it's gonna come back oh probably will i mean just having a job in general kind of gives it to you i i have a better idea of how much i want it to impact me in the sense of how much i i want to give to my job for the returns yes okay. right so i'm not gonna abuse myself so to speak I, it's not, I don't have a better word for it but i'm not gonna abuse myself as much as i used to um for work. For, yeah, for work because of what it does to me and because of how I know yeah. I can feel if I don't do that, mm. which is amazing. That's that's good insight. Um, and I think that is probably one of the best things professionally that being unemployed did for me was, yeah. I, as it was, was what I, it kind of made me realize what I want out of the day that I put in, mm. in whatever job capacity that I'm, that I'm employed in, right? Yeah. But yeah, overall, it's been fucking A1. Sounds like it, it, it stabilized you, bro. Yeah, it really did. You know? Brought you to Chi. Yeah, in some ways. Um, some other things didn't <laughs> go to plan. Like, sleeping habits just fucking all over the place. Because when you don't have a schedule, like, yeah. the, the world's your oyster, right? So it's like, if you yeah. stay up till 3, and you sleep until 11, <laughs> or like, whatever. It's your I oyster. mean, no one's going to check on you. Yeah, so no you, Yeah, so you can do what you want in that sense. But it's also like, okay... You probably want to fucking set a kind of schedule for yourself so you're not a fucking complete, like all over the place. Like you want to be up at a at a time where people are doing things. You know what I mean? Like you can't just you can't just be up when people are uh, closing off their things. Right? Yeah. Like if you want to be part of a society, you kind of want to like keep a, a decent schedule, because otherwise it's like you got these fucking weird like night crawlers that'll you know sleep at whatever, wake <coughs> up at Dr. like Evil. twelve one yeah. p.m. It's like well okay. Listen, if you're having breakfast when, up, when people are wrapping up their lunch, especially Sunny, then what the fuck, man? It's and the other thing too is it actually it cuts valuable time, and it almost makes you feel bad about it. And what I mean by this yeah. is you're losing out on prime hours of the day where things in the world are interesting, things yeah, in like, life are interesting. You're going against your biological clock. Yeah, right. So like, even if you're like, yeah, man, I can still be productive. Like you're missing out. Exactly. Like you, you might say, okay, yeah, you know, being productive at you know midnight or one a.m., two a.m. That's cool. But if you want to interact with people, if you want to know what things are like, the, the world is alive at a certain time in the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and if you're not there for that, you're just kind of living life by yourself, really, and that that cannot be good. You know for what's some funny? People. If you go out from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., mm -hmm. it's pretty dead everywhere. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Yeah. Uh, For example, restaurants, malls, shopping centers. People at work. Exactly. Yeah, but some places are catered to that, so they're busier. But I, I understand your point. Yes, in general, yes. So that being said, you know, take away the weekends because everybody's free, right? You're not really going to be too socially interactive during those times even if you don't have a nine to five mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but for me i think the only thing that would drastically change would be uh my gpa oh yeah because if you're you're, you're studying for sure man Dude, would, yeah. especially like i can do i can do two and a half hours is like my peak i like prime yeah yeah anything after that i gotta take like an hour half an hour yeah that's and fair go fuck yeah. off yeah yeah but if I if I have like eight hours, I can do that cycle like three times. So right now I can only do that cycle once during the week, mm -hmm. and then on the weekends like two times. So if if I can do that cycle three times every day of the week, think about how drastically it would uh, yeah, change. Yeah, of course. Right now course. I'm averaging about 86, 85 percent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would average at least like early low 90s. 
which is significant. Si- super in that especially field, at, especially at that in that field and in that range too, like at the high range. That Dude, that's significant. I remember looking at uh, student numbers and their the GPAs. Yeah, there's only like in in a, in a group of like fifty to a hundred. There's mm-hmm. only like three percent four percent that make 90 or an over yeah that's everybody a, that, everybody that's a, makes that 70 to 80 85 percent well that, yeah that's a normal distribution curve that sounds about right so you know that would that would drastically improve and i think my body fat from sleeping right oh yeah and uh how's your sleep lately last couple of weeks <laughs> garbage right dude last two weeks mm. Last week, I just went MIA because I had too much to do. Yeah. And this week, it's just been so stressful. Mm-hmm. So it's like these two weeks, ass. See that? That's stressful. Dude, it's been so great not having that. Yeah. I can't stress this yeah. enough. <laughs> it's, it's but I'll so, tell you one thing that, so great. that changed is the... Uh, I, I, I've i been off the weights and like just training yeah. for 10 weeks. That's one thing that every time you stop it and you reintroduce yourself to it, you fall in love with it again. Mm. That high you mm-hmm, get mm-hmm. from working out or... Doing like pads or yeah, yeah, of jits, course, yeah, something else. Yeah, I did it today, and it was like that. I realized that this is like not only my therapy, but it's like what keeps me fucking dealing with the stress of like work and fucking school and the mm-hmm, regular mm-hmm. garbage. You know. Well, one thing that I notice about high intensity activity, and it can be, it can, that can be so many things for so many different people. Yeah, it can be weights, it can be a mentally intense activity, like a more. Um, yeah, like like a more mental activity where it's you know something like jits where you got to think, right? Yeah. What did you say? Porn. Oh my god. <laughs> got to think a lot. Rock climbing. Rock climbing is another one. Takes a lot of concentration. Um, but even other activities that are super intense, like you should even football, it's basketball, whatever. The more intense these activities are, mentally speaking, the better they are for you for your general mental health, mm. because what it does is it it takes conditions you it no and all it conditions you which is great because it improves that but it also takes away and uses up all your available mental capacity to block all the other bullshit yeah right so if you got up you know 20 things in your mind because you know you got shit to do well okay that's fine but once you show up and do this high level high intensity activity everything clears that's well the thing is it it, it only clears it literally gets, gets shoved away because yeah. your brain needs all the available attention for what's happening Right, so if you're in a dangerous situation, right, so if you're like doing practicing MMA, or whatever, you can't be distracted and thinking about X because homeboy is gonna punch you in the mouth, yeah. right? Like that's your sole focus is the guy in front of you. I noticed that for me in jits, where I'm like when I'm sparring, I'm thinking, thinking about, about anything. Other no, than literally jits. nothing because yeah. it's like there's, hey, isn't it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is love. I swear <laughs> to God, that is love because it's the only time you you're forced to control your mind. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah, because there's a couple of things going on. One, I've noticed for me is, okay, I'm thinking about what I want to do, right? Like what my, my general strategy is going to be. But the other one is you have like an immediate threat in front of you. The, the, the guy you're rolling with is trying to do something to you, right? So you're, you're trying to take your head off. So your brain is completely consumed by what's in front of you. Yep. And it's it's an amazing thing. Mm. So that's not the only activity that'll do it for you. You know, rock climbing is another one, right? Because if you lose concentration, you're you're falling, son. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But there are other activities that do the same for you, and so and so whatever that is, finding one of those to do consistently is huge. Also, sex. Yeah, for some people, sex can be a two. For some people, for some people, they get you know they're completely in there. Like they're yeah. not, some people have lazy sex, right? <laughs> or they're just they're just fucking, but they're really thinking about what's gonna happen later. So out of ten times, Hector, how many times do you have lazy sex? Out of ten times, yeah, zero. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Doctor Evil, what about you? Out of out of ten times you're fucking, how many times do you have lazy sex? Oh, uh, dude, I don't know. I'm not doing much fucking lately. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to like previous statistics. <laughs> I fell asleep once. I remember I told you that. <laughs> okay, well, let's say one. Columbia. Let's say one or two. I'm so tired. Let's I say... remember I fell asleep and then I woke up. I'm like, oh, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. During yeah, you woke up during? So funny. I thought girl pulled out. Well, and she, I like, fell asleep you. during. No, Jesus. Like, yeah, I was. Uh, I was really tired. The reason that's so funny to me is because that also has happened, but not because I was tired. I was just so high. I was was basically borderline greening out. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) And this girl just riding me in my car and the doors open. We're at Stanley Park and there's other people around. So not only do I have the stress of like exterior people, because it's only like 1230 Stanley Park, people looking at lights, right? I have a cop 
with a fucking light that's going around flashing at cars. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> and this girl is riding me, right? And I'm like borderline going into greening out and falling asleep. <laughs> I don't know which thing. Amazing. To I remember at that point, I'm like, I don't know what to deal with. So I just ducked her head and I just kept fucking. And I was like, hopefully this just, this, this, this point just keeps going. This river keeps flowing. You know what I mean? This cop passes by and, and we just keep going, you know? But yeah. Why did you bring, it? did you bring up the sex because it was, uh, no, sorry, not that what you just said, but just in general because it's similar. It's, it's yeah, it's, it, yeah. it consumes at least my mind. Yeah. While, while it's going on. And that in itself, like I said, that's it's huge, man. And, and it's a double. It's a, it's a double gift sex. Because one, for me, it consumes you. And then right after, you're free of it. I see. So it's kind of like you're a slave to it for a little bit. You can enjoy that because being a slave to it is not that bad. Well, isn't that these other high-intensity activities as well? Because once you're, once you're done, are those things consuming you? Like if you're once you're... If I do jits or mm. Muay Thai, I'm still going to want to lift weights. I see. But we weren't talking about the physical aspect. We're talking about the mental aspect, right? So it's like, yeah, you might want to lift weights. Of that weights. exact thing? Yeah. That same day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. But I mean, I guess, but it's it's to a different point. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Sure. You, like, you could still be, uh, you know, want to throw pads two times a day. I, it's been done before. I got you. I guarantee it. But, <clears throat> but you might not want to fuck. You know, you might spar somebody and then you might go dead tired. Mm. You might go spar another person. Yeah, yeah. You might go roll with another guy. Yeah. Right. But you're not going to fuck a chick. Ten, five minutes later, you're going to go fuck another chick. It's just, you need to be. I see what you're saying. You know, the turnaround rate, they're both, they both have turnaround rates, but the turnaround rate on sex is pretty fucking, pretty long. Mm. Turnaround time. Yeah, I got you. Dr. O, what do you think? I was looking at this video about like what's going on in China and their financial situation. Let's end. Let's end with that. That's a good one. Sure. So l- let me tell. Let me tell my piece of what I know about this. China is dealing with overbuild, a lot of overbuild uh, buildings, um, and they drastically fucked that up. And there's a lot of people. Uh, it's basically the 2008 crisis, but worse for them because way worse because they, their scale is huge. Yeah, their scale is like humongous, but. This has like been shown pretty frequently in the last ten years. Like I, I've seen like uh, K dramas that dealt with the same situation where they had overbuilds. Really? Yeah, and it's it's interesting because it's like, how the fuck did you not calculate this? Yeah. Like, you, how many people do you have? Okay. This, <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah. How, yeah. How, do we, how do we fuck this up? Yeah. So it just shows how disorganized the country is because even though they, from the outside, they kind of seem like they're very organized, right? And just basically Chinese. Uh, culture is like if, if you know if, if I had to take a guess on a Chinese guy being organized or not I'd be like he's fucking organized yeah sure you know what I mean yeah 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 as fucking racist as that sounds that's true, racist right but that being said they don't have an actual count on who's in a family what's going on mailing services can like, you at that size at that scale though that's the question who knows where right? the, where the mistake comes from what I'm saying is that they don't have that right versus like Canada for sure they have that yeah you know what I mean? You can't be a felon just like walking around, bro. They're going to find you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They don't have that over there. There's a billion people. There's more than a billion. There's that's the pro- That's what I'm saying. Is like, can you, is that even realistic to keep track of that many people? I don't, I don't think so. Do you even have the right amount of names and characters <laughs> and an alphabet to, to, to help that kind of volume of people? <laughs> 1.8 billion yeah, people. Man, it's, I don't know. Like, how many stupid conversation goes on, bro? <laughs> Think, <laughs> Think about, about the amount of stupid conversation you've heard tonight. Multiply that by a fucking you guys have, half a you bill. You guys started that first. Start arguing with nothing. We'll run it back. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going around the same topic. <laughs> you guys are basically agreeing on the same thing. You're just wording it different. Yeah. <laughs> just and went we back and forth. We couldn't cycles. understand each other. <laughs> like, we thought we were disagreeing with each other and we weren't. Yeah, it's just interesting to see how they're using that like social credit score, which that, was that was aside a, the COVID app that blocks people from entering certain establishments depending on their test status. Oh yeah, we should they have seem that to here. be repurposing that tool for other things like controlling dissidents. 
that's interesting but also another Coming thing that's dystopian. kind of scary is if china goes to war with taiwan the the recession this is going to be a slow recession it's not going to be a bad recession i don't think from what it looks like it's just going to be a like a two year long recession if it if they don't, <laughs> don't if they don't actually get go to war but if china goes to war with taiwan there's certain like trade agreements that's going to go ass up Mm. And then it's going to be a real hard recession. It's going to be a long one, too, because you got the COVID backed up. This is the COVID backed up. This is the fucking yeah. Russia, yeah. Ukraine backed and, up. Entering the winter. Yeah. Right. Entering the winter. Now you got these fucking Mongols fighting each other and shit. <laughs> oh, my God. It's over, son. Some Genghis Khan shit, bro. This is like yeah. new level burning world type of shit. Scorched earth. Scorched oh, earth. Come back to Canada if they invade. Who's invading? If something happened with Taiwan, I'd be like first trip back. Actually, to yeah, that, that'd be pretty smart. Hold on, would you? Uh, if if Canada was attacked, would you guys? Let's end with this. Oh, I've, would, if yeah, Canada's attacked, I'd probably still come back. There's a there's a voluntary draft. It's no, it's not really a draft. It's just voluntary yeah. draft. <laughs> what the fuck? Voluntary enlistment, <laughs> right? Uh, and, was... and and they're on our soil, boys. Are we signing up? We're we gotta send it. Are we signing up? Uh, Doctor Doctor Evil, we can just like, you, you can be in the computer room, just like you know, calling shit out. It can be aviation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll yeah, join exactly. the uh, chemical <laughs> weapons department. There you go. He's gonna be in a lab. Do- call him. Same he's spot. he's gonna go from Doctor. Right away. He's gonna no no. He's gonna go from Doctor <laughs> Evil to Doctor Manhattan 2.0. Yeah, and he's gonna work on prostate fucking <laughs> cancer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How to cause prostate cancer? Yeah, there's a whole war war going on. And fucking Doctor Evil. They, oh, I discovered they how to. Us yeah. entirely. <laughs> Shit, uh, Hector. What about you? Yeah, I'm signing up. Send what, me. What? What? Uh, what? Uh, give me a one, two, and three of of which. Air Force, baby. Air Force is one, and what's two, three? It. No, just like whatever the two threes are. In. Like the, the ones pilot, and if that doesn't work, just something close. Yeah, but would you pick like army? Uh, I wouldn't do like infantry. I don't think I covered. I'm National truthfully guard. told. Yeah, sure. Uh, you go, you go, you the go. The thing is, truthfully told, I don't think I'm cut out to being. Like, I, I don't think that's my most effective use of of me Life. is is yeah. uh is infantry. Yeah. I think I could be better purposed somewhere else in the army. So your brain over bronze. B- more definitely, yeah. definitely more biased. Yeah, yeah. I would, enli- I would, and enlist- like, and I think right now yeah. I. I definitely question things too much. So, like, we're talking about you need to follow orders, life or death, or like, you, you die. You know what I mean? It's like Fuck that. I wouldn't even be in the so, army for that reason. So, well, uh, any anything, anything, army, navy, air. No, force. no, but what I'm saying, like, in the infantry thing, it's like, bro, like, you need to follow orders or you'll die. Yeah. Versus, like, if you're doing some shit like avionic support or whatever, it's not as fucking like crazy man it's like no. no one's gonna bark orders at you like hey give me the cuff like no man it's like people know what they're doing it's they like, might you know, no but it's, here and there not as much it's not the same intensity no, man not. We're not, no. we don't have rifles in our hands bro yeah. we're not you know knocking on fucking doors and like bashing them in and fucking all like it's just not the, the intensity is not there so i don't think that'd be my best my, my best place to be to be put in i'd go air force marines oh damn never army never army and, uh, Air Force Marines? No, or like he's saying, like, oh, like one, two separate. Two. Yeah, yeah, two separate. That's what he's two saying. Separate. And then uh, would be third. There's no Marines in Canada. That's true, actually. There's no Marines in Canada? God damn it. There's just three, bro. It's just Navy, Army, and uh, Air Force. I thought you meant something more specific. Like, what position would you want to be? Like, what would you actually, what job would you like to undertake? Because uh, that could I mean, be, that too. That, that's more. Emergency response. There you go. See, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two would be. Can that be like a general? Team. Be a general. Yeah, if you, if you believe people would listen. This guy needs like a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, yeah. When you show up for the interview, and they're like, who the fuck is this guy? He's like 20. And he's like, yo, guys, I played a lot of HM Empires. I got the tactics pretty well worked up in my head. I think you should go with me. Played a lot of city builders. <laughs> if, Doctor, if Dr. Evil had... Uh, if, if he was a general, his, his marketing campaign guy... Would tell him to be like, yo, stand on this podium. You look more enforcing. <laughs> <laughs> Give him like a 16-inch podium. You know who would make that podium? Me, motherfucker. Yours truly. Yours truly. I'd sand that bitch down, paint it, all that shit. All right. It's been a good one. Maybe metaverse been... war. I'm in for that one. Armand's going to have his uh, computer science degree by then. We'll be, we'll be set. We'll be good. We'll be good. Another three years. 
<laughs> three years until you're three years away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. It's so long. Man. It's so long. I'm all I'm like Zero progress. I'm like I'm like three years in. I'm like two years in. <laughs> this guy this guy started last year. He's already two years behind schedule. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh-huh. Dude, the worst part is, is like when you go from like BCIT to, to SFU, like so many credits don't just transfer. fucking disappear. Like 35, 40 credits just down the drain. Jesus, and you're like, dude. fuck. Only like 12 <laughs> or 13, recognized. only like first year courses, like second year? 80%. 80% of first year courses. And transfer. second year? Nothing second year. What the fuck? Nothing second year. That's fucked. Dude, I was doing early third year shit. At uh, BCIT. Holy shit, yo, it's 2.30 a.m. here, fuck. All right, dude. All right, we'll, we'll wrap it and get the fuck. Get some, get some sleep. Yeah, bro. All right, man. Peace.